The fifth Kokoda Nationals were held in Dunsborough in Western Australia in September 2022. We left New South Wales in May when it was windy and cold. We were taking the long way to Dunsborough. Arabri Fish Farm was an interesting place to stop. They even have yabby races. Cars weren't the only things we had to give way to on the road. We planned to stay a couple of days at Charlotte Plains, but there was rain and we got rained in. The dirt roads on the trip into the station were impassable, so we got to stay about five or six days, I think it was. There was a lot of slipping and sliding on the way out of the property, but by the time we got to this gate, things had dried out nicely ready for the main road. It's just shutting a gate here at the moment, so it's just a little puddle near the gate. One of the quirky things we just had to see on this trip was the Tambo Chicken Races. It was so Number much fun, here so at the glad hotel, we did it. Sold two of the chickens for over two thousand dollars each. We spent a fair bit of time zigzagging through central Queensland. There was a whole lot to see. Lara Wetlands was another place that we just had to stay at. It was great for bird watching. To get across to Western Australia, we took Australia's longest shortcut, the Outback Way from Winton through to Laverton. The first part of the Outback Way is called the Plenty Highway, where you start to see Outback humour and thousands of budgerigars. Our first camp on the Outback Way was at a place called Hamilton Historic Site. Check out this giant termite mound on the plenty. So we're on the emergency airstrip at the moment, which is just Queensland side of the Northern Territory border. We camped at some great station stays along the Outback Way. Slow right down when you see these eagles. They don't go fast with full bellies. Found a couple of garnets at Gem Tree. The colours at Rainbow Valley were beautiful at sunset. I've just climbed, there's a sand hill opposite the lookout to Mount Connor, so I've climbed the sand hill to get a, a higher view. You have to drive past Uluru to get to Western Australia, so we made sure we had time for a sunset helicopter flight. Just about to cross over into WA and we've just found this quite dated Great Central Road sign. There doesn't seem to be a newer one. I've just walked up the road into WA so you can see the Welcome to Northern Territory but Glenn's on his way coming towards WA. He's going to pull in here I thought but no he's gone past me. Oh maybe he's leaving me behind. There's an awful lot of gravel on this part of the Outback Way. The part from Uluru is called the Great Central Road. On the Outback Way, the road houses have their fuel bowsers locked in cages. It was worth stopping at the Giles Weather Station to watch the weather balloon go up. There it goes. A lot easier to see in the daytime. Let's just show you the dust coming out. This 
this beautiful free camp is almost at the end of the Outback Way. And there you go, we've completed 2700 kilometres right through the middle of Australia on the Outback Way. Now we will take our time to head towards the coast in Western Australia. We've reached the coast of the Shark Bay region. There's so much to see around here, including the most westerly point of Australia. Tire pressures were up and down in this sandy part of the country. Warramore Station was the first place we met up with Kokodians on their way to Dunsborough. It was whale season when we were at Quabba and look what we saw so close to the shore. Mount Augustus is inland, but we couldn't come to Western Australia and not see the biggest rock in the world. This place is amazing. popular. We've come to Billy Boning Rock, Wildflowers, beautiful. And you know how the woman always wants to find the best park to set up the van? Well, I knew it was a bit soft, but it's, it's a bit soft. So, it's, luckily the, oh, oh, he just threw them through the dirt at me. <laughs> Very happy. I suppose I don't blame you. <laughs> Whoops. But at least I'm thinking of the positive, at least the caravan's on the rock. So the caravan is okay. I better go and help. And we did end up getting the caravan in just that perfect spot. We found some more Kokoda owners to camp with here at Billy Burning. And this is also where we started to see our first orchids for the wildflower season. We enjoyed those Kokodians company so much, we ended up traveling together for about a week. This is our camp at Eaglestone Rock. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a 24-hour RV stop in York, right on the Avon River. We're getting so close, we're catching up with Kokoda owners all over the place. Here's another one we met at Narragan Railway Dam. This is the night before we head to Dunsborough. We're pretty excited by now. And here we are at Southern Stars Caravan Park. Almost 100 Kokodians raising funds for Dunsborough Bushfire Brigade. We've had a wow of a week. It's taken us four months to get to the Fifth Nationals and it might take us just as long to get home. We're having an absolute blast in Western Australia. <laughs> 